can put him off no longer. <laughs> the mere mention of my next guest name would strike fear in the bravest of men, let alone a little defenceless old lady like me. <laughs> Will you welcome old Big Mouth himself? <laughs> Lovely. Like the chapel of rest in here. <laughs> oh. I wish you could hear this, it's going to be funny. <laughs> oh, like a trainee corpse, how are you? Hi, <laughs> Pine, how are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Excellent. Well. That's always stays that way. I'm a, fan. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a fan of yours. Definitely a fan of yours. Hello, love. Weren't you in that film, Psycho, sat in a rocking chair? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> what are you doing with Nora Batty stockings on? <laughs> it's lovely to have you on, Bernard. I know. <laughs> I know, really darling. Is, you I know, know, it's been far too long since you were on telly. Do you know, what was the last thing I saw you in? Oh, was it World in Action? World in Action. <laughs> Entertaining all the top brass in the police, enjoying themselves. <laughs> and uh, it was a wonderful night. We raised £50,000 for charity. No, that's very good. And, uh, you know, and uh, it's about a great atmosphere. Hasn't it? How is it? Great atmosphere. They're a great crowd. What's the name of the next series? Two feet in the grave. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, 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 no. Please don't no. believe it. Always one foot. <laughs> always one foot out. How's your embassy club doing? Marvellous, marvellous. Packed out every night. We have, we have loads of money for charity there too, as well. Forty years we've been open this year. Same pianist. He thinks he's got the job now. <laughs> Do you know something, Bernard? I came to your club once, the embassy. Did you? And you know, I laughed, I laughed and laughed and laughed. Yes. It was the night it burnt down, you know, the fire. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best night I liked, you know. Oh, it was a wonderful night out. Yeah. I enjoyed that immensely. <laughs> Did you really? I lost a solid gold Amiga watch, £6,000 worth of... Did you? Rummaging all night with a the fireman. They said, I don't think you're, we're going to find this watch, but I thought, I'm bleeding sure you're not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was, a, it was a lovely fire. It was a lovely fire. It's a great I'll tell fire. you how to start a good fire. Get a, 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 a lively rat. Yes. And dip a, a rag in a cloth in petrol and tie it to its tail. <laughs> Light it and shove it through the door. And you've got about 16 fires going in about two minutes. <laughs> The rat gets cremated and you don't know how it started. <laughs> now, the Irish club lower down than me, they tried it with a toy choice and. <laughs> only, burnt, only burnt the front door down. <laughs> 60, 68 quid, 68 quid for half a door, that's all I got. <laughs> £170,000, me. Really? It was the best night. I'm glad you all laughed because I laughed. <laughs> we about all 60 laughed. suits I lost in that pie. Did you? 60 suits. Colonel Gaddafi for me says, sorry, Bernard, wrong embassy. <laughs> you know, I'll tell you something now. This, this, this room has happy memories for me. We did the wheel tappers from here and the comedians from here and Mr. Nice Guy at my own show with the, uh, the 3D Grease and uh, Acker Bilk and Sid Lawrence Orchestra. And that was 1970. Happy days, I tell you. Wonderful days. Oh, baby. And all I, all I said was bollocks and never seen the place again. <laughs> you could say it today without being mad. You couldn't say anything like that in them days, what you know. Nobody had bollocks. What do you think? Are <laughs> hey, you all right, girls? Yes. Was it cold in the ground this morning? 
Say hello to Roy Orbison when you get back to the garage. I like your advert, the LPG chips, eh? Oh, nice that. Putting all them monkeys out of work. You see, the thing is, if, they, if they'd have wanted a baboon, Poor they'd have monkeys, asked you. you. <laughs> Are you with us? Are you there? The monkey's on PG tips now. Think about something here. Think about it. Hit me with your best punch here now. Hit me with your best shot. Yeah. Hit me with something, if you like. Richard. <laughs> you show bullets if you like. Anything at all. Only live up the road, me. It's dead easy for me. It is, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Why do you think we asked you? <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> Invite me anytime. Invite me anytime. But you're, really... you're, not, you're Irish and all, aren't you? When you leave, we all leave. <laughs> Don't leave no carrier bags. Don't leave no carrier bags under the tables in here. You see, the thing about you, Gotta be very careful, aren't you? The thing about you... The <laughs> thing about you, Bernard, is what we all think. He's a very good comedian, isn't he? Yes. Oh, there's no doubt about that, as he wouldn't... <laughs> They, would, they wouldn't pay me the money they do in 40, 50 years I've been in the business this in year. In your own club? Are you paying years? yourself? No, Las Vegas, Royal Command Performances, London Palladium, 1972 with all the comics. But the thing about you is, Bernard, there's no getting away from it. You're a very good comedian, but... Yes. Nice you, if you say that. You are racist, aren't you, Bernard? Yes. <laughs> See, some people I like, some people I don't. Them I like, I like. Them I don't like, I don't like. But you upset people, Bernard, with yes. your comedy. Yes. Well, what do you think of that? It don't upset me, it upsets them. <laughs> but don't you feel bad that you upset people? Oh, no. No, no. No, no. But the thing is... There's worse things to get upset about. What, like what? Just a smack in the mouth. <laughs> but you see, Bernard, you know, I mean... We all think you're great, so why do you bother doing this racist stuff? It's, you know... Fame, fortune. Hands up in this audience. Who'd like Bernard more if he wasn't racist? Me. Let me just see. There you now, are. that's a majority. You see, Bernard, we'd like you more if you weren't racist. What do you think about that? Well, I'm not really racist. I tell jokes about everything. People get... They all get all upset about it all. See, these people think they're English because you're born here. That means if a dog's born in a stable, it's a horse. <laughs> Bernard, you do tell jokes about, about different races. Oh, about I do. Of course races. I do. Scotch, Irish. S uh, English fellow went to Scotland and he bought a house right in the middle of the islands of Scotland. First night there, knock on the door, big islander, six foot six. He said, I've come to invite you to a Keighley. He said, what's for Curly? He said, there'd be plenty of eating, plenty of drinking, a wee bit of dancing, and a lot of love making. Oh, he said, I've been to a Curly before. How do, I, how do I dress? He says, come as you are, he says. There'll just be the two of us. <laughs> now, you... But, OK, well, Bernard... You nearly smiled then, you know. <laughs> Why, I don't know why you've been I don't quite. Know so, I don't know why you've been quite so nasty to me. I mean, what have I said so far? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't said anything. Well, and here you are. You're making. You're making. You're, you're making comments all, about that. Wait a minute. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. When you came on. Let me finish. When you came on, you said don't Bernadou. Talk at me. Bernadou. She says a local comedian. Las Vegas, I've worked. How many Royal Command oh, performances have you done? Oh, for goodness, you can't take that. <laughs> How many Royal you Command... can't take that. How many Royal Command performances have you done? I've turned them down. Let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> you never turned them down. You never turned them down. Of course I have. You never turned them down. How do you know? How do you know? You never turned them down. Don't be silly. And I'll, but listen, you, never you turn can't them down. take... And I'll show listen, you it. I'll show don't you. Don't talk at me, for God's sake. Let me... Let me speak. Let me speak. Let me speak. Let me speak. my job. Let me speak. Let me speak. Let... I don't want you to I'm, speak. So I'm not going to no speak at I'm all. Speaking, but but I started speaking. speaking. You've had your you... chance in the first half. You didn't know. You didn't know who I was. Oh, for goodness' sake! Now say. you know who I am. You can't take a joke now like that. Now you know that. who Bernard Manning is. Because everyone knows who you are. Now you know. Las Vegas. <laughs> all the man performances. Multi-millionaire. I'll show you a tenner. 
for every knicker you've got. I'm sure. <laughs> okay? I'm sure you That's can. That's a money. Manchester <laughs> lad, self-made. What? Don't talk with the Fleming main bell. Where could I I'm speak? I'm a Lancashire lad. Let, uh, no, 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 no. Now you can interrupt. speak if you let like. Let me interrupt. Let me interrupt. Now let you can speak if you like. <laughs> Bernard Manning has spoken. <laughs> let me interrupt. Let me interrupt. Let's change the subject. Let's change. What would you like to ask Liz? What would you like to ask Bernard? Well, Bernard, you've never Hello, gone well, down Hello, excuse it. my butt, darling. Better than his front. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you've ever particularly gone down in Wigan, have you? Gone down in Wigan? Yes. I mean, you've been I'm Wigan once or twice, but you've never gone down, have you? You, you must be joking. No, no, wrong. You must be joking. You I've always, always gone down in Wigan. I, you I, have. In the rugby clubs I and all sorts. And Wigan people, we, we, Wigan people come to my club. You're talking to your ass. No, I'm not. <laughs> with handbags in the car park when you leave. <laughs> Mrs. Oh, Mer Liz, I've, I've introduced Wiggins, in myself Wiggins, I've personally. I've, I go to Wigan many, many times. I've gone all over the country, all over the world. Never died yet. I'm not a comic that dies. I'm a funny man. No, I'm I... on my business. I know he knows his job at acting. Never. He's a great did actor. Not give me a chance. Great comical actor. I, you know I introduce I mean? you personally, myself, at Avram Labour Club. Never and I'm it. going way back. Ah, oh, you must be. He must be. Yes. <laughs> You must be. I don't go back that way. Yeah, well. <laughs> You're sulking now, you see. <laughs> He's not sulking. He's not. He's sulking. He's not. Oh, I don't want it. Richard, what would you like to say? 61. What does it look like? 61. And then you started again, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Victor? Yes? Come on and sit on my knee. Well, I just didn't know why you were getting at me. I mean, the fact that I said... Well, the fact... Oh, wait a minute! <laughs> You're a good actor, but you're, you're a good actor, but you're on too long. Oh, man! Are you all right? Are you all right? Are you all right? I just worried about your knees. You don't look out of place there. <laughs> Believe me. I, I'm very He's glad about that. Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> He's got one foot in the grave there, all right. Have you seen her? <laughs> How long more do you think you're going to keep going for, Bernard? I'll go to, like, well, I'll do a Tommy Cooper, most probably. You think? That's why you've got a packed house. You think it's tonight. <laughs> <laughs> They're hoping it's tonight. I was frightened. Me? About a fortnight ago, I had a... Bit of a do, pains in my chest, and they rush me into uh, Crumpsu. <laughs> Dorothy. <laughs> Richard. I wouldn't say that. Hurry up, the sun's coming up. <laughs> <I'd> be... <laughs> Richard, do you want to come back to the sofa? Come and sit with us, Richard. He knows I'm a fan. He knows I'm a fan. We're having some fun tonight, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> Now, Bernard, what I want to ask you is this. Yes. You know, the fact that I said Bernard, who is a compliment. Is it? Of course. Well, because they all know you're coming on. Do they? So the fact that I say Bernard, who, I mean, I don't laughed a lot, but it is quite a compliment. It's not meant to be in any way derogatory at all. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> You've let me well, down! I apologise, you won't go out on air, you know that, don't you? No, of course. <laughs> I'll still be a racist. You when never this is all know. Over. Well, oh, I don't like racists won't. very much, and I agree with Dorothy that you well, know, I think you're a you hugely talented comedian. He is, and he's yes. got great. Why don't you promise tonight that you'll never tell another racist joke? Oh, oh yes. Oh, 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 yes.
that? Because that's letting them off the hook. I tell great, I tell gags about everybody and everything. Bernard, why you... shouldn't? Why should you tell me? I can, can't tell gags about other races. Bernard, who do you vote for now? Hitler's dead. <laughs> We played roll out the barrel when you came on. We're scraping the barrel with you on. <laughs> You're a it's good a, comedian, it's cost Bernard. You, it's costing you a lot of money to scrape that barrel, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you tell the truth. You don't know how much Richard's I bet I'm on more than him anyway. <laughs> I bet I'm on more than him. I believe, bet you Believe me. <laughs> and I, you won't believe it. <laughs> Cos I don't work for nothing, my friend. You're a workaholic, aren't you? I am a workaholic, and I've got plenty of money. Have you? Yep, loads of it. Really? Yeah, more than you. More what? than you with your own show. What do you, what do you spend? Businesses everywhere. What do you spend Shares on? Shares in cause... bird's eye, frozen foods, ICI, <laughs> Sainsbury's. You, you spend it British all on telecom, food. British <laughs> Telecom. Shares everywhere. When are you, get, when are you gonna stop? Never. Never. But why don't Keep you on going. Why don't you change your act? Oh, you couldn't change it. How would you change it? I'm looking for new material all the time. Well, Irish fella sat in a pub, his mobile phone rang, he said, how do you know I was here? <laughs> do you know who'd love that gag? Do you know who'd love that gag? Hugh Scully for the Antiques Road Show. He'd love that gag you just told. There you go, there you go again. Old I ones are the best, I can buy they? and sell you, Scully. Could you? They're all waiting for me to die, see what I'll leave. That it's not to see what you leave, Bernard. Oh, okay. Okay. That's not why okay. they're waiting. Yeah, to peace on earth. This poor bugger will be working when he's 150. Morris, what would you like to ask? Well, Bernard probably won't remember this, but a long time ago now, about 30 years to the day, actually, I'd been drinking in Manchester with some of my mates, and the driver had been arrested by the police for drunken driving, and so we had to thumb our way back to Rochdale. <laughs> And we were thumbing our way, and who should stop with this great big long Jaguar with Bernard in it? And Bernard didn't live in Rochdale, but he took us all the way back to our homes and back again. Sorry. What I want to ask Bernard is, A, does he still drive a Jaguar, and B, would he have picked me up if it had been black? <laughs> <laughs> no. I remember that, I, I remember that little uh, version, and you've gone smaller. <laughs> You're, you're absolutely right. Absolutely. You should, on, answer the you should be in a garden with a fishing rod in your <laughs> I remember the incident. I remember the incident. I don't drive a Jaguar now, I drive a Rolls Silver Spirit. Whoa. Yes. And if you'd have been black, you'd have still been stood there. <laughs> okay. But I thought you weren't a racist, Bernard. No, no, I just... I just so why would you have left a black man standing there? I just don't, I don't, I just... I just don't pick black people up in Rolls Royces. Why? Because I, I just don't. I'm entitled why? to Why? I mean, because it's my prerogative. I can, I can pick who I like up. I can eat what I want, I can drink what I want, I can say what I want. It's a free country. But I That's why all our troops, our troops, died at Dunkirk and Anzio and Arnhem and Monte Cassino. Lots of black people died in those Not battles. Not at Dunkirk, my friend. No, no. They were, they were the, no, co no. the Commonwealth Army. My Arc. brother was at all these places. The Commonwealth and Army was, was fought yes. absolutely oh, they through did, the war. They did, they did. Indians, yes, Africans. They did. But not for us. They fought for themselves. You don't think you'd oh. let them off the hook, would you, when they won the war? There's no package at Dunkirk. Right up. And Arnhem. No package at Arnhem. Mary, what would you like to ask Bernard? Bernard. We've listened to you talking a bit about dying tonight. Yes. Could I just be, I won't be, long. Could I just be seri serious for a moment? I won't be long Could I just be serious for a moment? When you do die, if you actually get to heaven, yes. how would you feel when God says, come over and sit with all these black people because I made them as well? What if God's black? <laughs> ah, that's what I think. <laughs> yes. What if he is? Will he get a council house? That's what I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what was that question again, my love? <laughs> How would it feel when God says, come and sit with all these black people? I made them, as well as making you, Bernard Manning. What will I say? I don't How think God will admit to making him. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's the devil's own work. 
I'll say, JC, baby, do the trick with the loaves and fishes. That's all of a sandwich. And do you think he'll laugh? Because we didn't. 